Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about the regression model, and we will discuss. We will cover linear regression, Lasso regression, elastic regression. These models are very beneficial uh, when the complexity of data is very high, and we will uh, come. To, you will come to know for which place we are using these models. Basically, uh, we have covered about uh, many machine learning algorithms. Like logistic regression, Navier's probabilistic models. Uh, we have also covered uh, about the introduction to spot vector machines and the various classification models. Now, these tutorials are all about the regression model. And for the regression model, the linear regression is one of the model which we have discussed in the previous class, in the previous tutorials. Now, this tutorial is all about the different types of other regression model. Which may outperform the performance of the linear regression. So, if you like the video, you may subscribe us. You may also watch the other videos uh, which have been given in our YouTube channel. So, now let's start about the regression model. You know, if I talk about the ordinary least square method, uh, bridge regression is an advanced version of OLE by introducing a shrinkage factor, so called as lambda. So I will use the highlighters to show you the things what I want to see. This is the lambda, and the lasso regression means it is just a ridge regression plus the property of variable selection. So I just highlight the word variable selection. Again, if you want any model which lies between the ridge regression and the lasso regression, then you should go for the elastic net, which is having the combinations of both. Ridge regression or lasso regression. So this uh, slide is all about a giving a view into your mind that what we are going to study. This is the constraint condition. Uh, constraint condition is that uh, how uh, these models look like. Like if you have a diamond shape, we say it's a lasso regression. If it is uh, a circle shape, it is a ridge regression constraint. And if it lies between the diamond and the circle, it is basically the elastic net, which I have covered using the gray color. In the next slide, outline or the agenda that we have to show. First of all, before going to the lasso regression or uh, going to the ridge or elastic net, you must understand the basic properties behind the ordinary least square. Because if you know about the ordinary least square, then only you could learn about the ridge. And then only you could go about the lasso and rather than elastic net. If I could see this diagram, you see on the y-axis it is about the age, and on the x-axis it is about the name of patient. This is just a dummy graph to show what OL is. So we have the data points. We have drawn line number one. Okay, we have drawn this line, and we have calculated the distance from this point to all the set of points. So let this distance be d1, d2, d3, d4 up to d7. Then what we do is that we have squared each distance and sum. So in simple way we say sum of square of distance of every data point with respect to the imaginary or the fit line that we have drawn. Again, there can be a number of lines which can be which can become a hyperplane or the best fit regression line and. For all these lines, this total distance is calculated, and we need to find the distance which is minimum among all, and that is the concept of OLE. This is ordinary least square estimation. So, now what is ridge regression? Ridge regression means if you add a shrinkage factor lambda with OLE, it becomes a ridge regression. Ridge regression, in other mathematical means, the beta transpose. Is equal to one divided by one plus lambda multiplied by the whole term into beta. So this lambda, when we introduce this word lambda, what the what this lambda signifies? This lambda has a great significance because when you increase the value of a lambda, overall value will decrease. So there will be a shrinkage factor. But again, if you uh, look at uh, any uh, if you look at any point, there may be some of the delimitations or Uh, demerits which you should point out. If you look at the ridge trace, ridge trace is a graphical representation of uh, ridge regression. 
you will see that if you increase the value of a lambda it never converges to zero if the value of lambda never converges to zero it means always there will be some values of the coefficients the coefficients will never get to zero and if the coefficients will never get to zero you can't eliminate any of the variable so the main de uh, demerit of region regression is that it can't be used for variable elimination or variable selection so it has some good properties it has advanced property than OLE but, but the roast case it cannot be used for the variable separation and for that we have pointed to the lasso regression which we are studying in the next slide if I am talking about the ridge trace it is used to identify it is used to identify the value of a lambda for which the coefficients get stabilized lasso lasso means least absolute shrinkage and selection operator so it is the least absolute shrinkage and selection operator basically if you add the variable separation part with the rigid regression you can go for the lasso regression so what is what is what is this uh, for some value of a lambda uh, the value of a coefficient approaches to zero and hence you can eliminate some of the variables and for other variables where the value does not approaches to zero for that there is a shrinkage that is applied so it has the property of convergence to zero and the shrink shrinkage applied now the question is that which algorithm we have to perform which algorithm we need to adopt for that we have a performance evaluation parameter mean scare error because if you look about the classification model we can go for the accuracy but when we look for the continuous model like regression we should go for the parameters like mean absolute error because the data is not categorical it is continuous so we just calculate the performance analysis parameter and compare all the models like lasso uh, ridge elastic net and we'll see for which parameter msc is coming to be the minimum because less is the msc uh, more is the PSNR or other parameters and hence more accurate is the model. Next is the applications. Trend line analysis. You know today oil prices, stock prices are, ana are analyzed using a trend line. So for that the regression model is used. Second is the risk analysis for investment. It is used to check the volatility of the stock or the investment. Uh, like at what time you need to invest the money so we can also talk about the sale or the market forecast yes uh, like if tomorrow the prices of a particular company like lines or any of the company stock is going down or up whether you need to buy the share or not so all this kind of stuff can be predicted using the regression model and human resource optimization you know this model can be used to predict whether based on some behavior whether employees are working uh, good or bad uh, in some way in the numeric that data if I am considering that uh, if this is the behavior what would be the salary of the employees or if I talk about the company the human resource or the employees their maintenance the growth of the company and the employees growth can be managed well using the regression model so the, the data which has the continuous form could be applied using the regression model so friends thanks for the watching hope you like the video uh, you, you you may visit the channel for more updates thank you